Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Okay, I'm seeing this issue too many times. Um, we're gonna install Font Pad Lab. So what you wanna do is type in Font Pad Lab, and it will take you here. <clears throat> you will need to enter in your email address, so, and they will send you a link. So once you go through that process of downloading, it's free. Okay, so once you download all that good stuff, it's going to basically allow you to use any fonts that you have in your system. Um, and so this is what it looks like. So here we go. You have this, what you wanna do is go to file. And I, I mean, let's be honest, we usually use you know, our top five fonts all the time. So I'm gonna go to recent fonts, but you can go to open, download, um, pull up any other font that you normally use. But I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna pick one of my favorites right now, which is Floristia from Creative Fabrica, of course. Um, okay, so you pick whichever one. So now I have this. So now I can type in, and look, everything's connected, right? Um, if you're doing, if you're personalizing a lot of things like I do as a room parent, um, there's 16 names. I don't wanna undo, ungroup each each name and then, you know, try to get it in. So I'm gonna do a new name. Um, let's do Haley. Okay, so you're going to save or save as. Okay, and put Haley demo so I can find it. So that's on my desktop, okay. Now we're going into Inkscape. Do, 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 do. Where is my Inkscape? All right, let's search for it here. All right, so let's open. This is the second issue. The first issue is that people don't uh, connect their letters when they should be. And then the second is the offset. So, okay, let's go to file and import. And we're gonna find Haley. So on my desktop, um, oh, here it is, the top one. Okay, so similar to Design Space, when you first bring in the name, I wanna make it really big so I can see it. Wanna make sure that it's locked so that as you make this bigger one way, it gets bigger proportionately. So here is Haley. And then you can see that the name right now is active, right? It's selected because it has this little box around it. So with your white arrow, your cursor, um, just click in this white area. So you can see now it's not selected, right? So go to your paint bucket and, sorry, my, I have to scroll down over here. Uh, let's make this bigger. Okay, click on your paint bucket. I'm gonna make it big again. And just pick any color, it doesn't matter because we can change these colors within Design Space. Right now, this color is just so that you could see that an, an offset is, um, is, is done. So you go up to grow and shrink by, and I do like doing it by 20 and 40, but I always do the 20 first. And you wanna just click your bucket on the letter. So here is H and you see that beautiful offset. And then again, I'm gonna do it here. Now this is all connected. So to only, I only had to click one time in that A and then I got my offset. Okay, so now you're gonna click back on that arrow because I do like having three layers. I feel like it pops out more. So again, this is right now currently um, selected. Just hit your cursor in the white area. Nothing selected right now. Go to your paint bucket, which I can't do. <laughs> Click on your paint bucket. Go back and pick a different color. So I'm gonna pick a different color just so that we can see it. And this time I'm gonna do it by 40. So let's do that. And you can see it got big. All right, so here we go. Then click on your white arrow and let's grab this and go to path, object to path. You just have to do that. All right, file, save as. And I'll do Haley demo. All right, so let's go into design space so you can see what this looks like. So new project, upload. Upload image, browse, you're gonna find where you saved it, right? So I saved it to my desktop and I did name it Haley Demo. So there it is. My daughter's best friend, so we do a lot of Haley stuff. <laughs> All right, so here's the demo or the offset. Click save and select it and insert images and I'll show you what that looks like. 
you can see over here these are all the different layers so the H and the Haley it's not connected right now so what I like to do is I do like to select this hit the shift key and the H so I'm doing it by colors right I'm gonna weld it I want this to become one and you see the A and the H they are connected but we we didn't connect them in Inkscape so now we're gonna weld it um oops let me undo that what happened here oh let me ungroup the whole thing so let's grab this thing ungroup it but not move anything now we're going to grab these two layers the top layer and weld okay so here's our top layer we can weld these two as well you don't have to but i'm just going to weld it um all right and then here this one So here is your beautiful offset. And like I said, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the difference between like having one layer, two layers and three layers. I definitely like having all three layers. Now you can grab all three of these and go to align and center. Then you can see the different, the different layers. It's beautiful. And it makes a huge difference when you're doing tumblers, cake toppers, banners, um, stickers. So I definitely love this. I hope this was helpful. Um, you can end here unless you want to go see me do a 10, 20, and 30. So let's do that. I'm going to continue. I'm going to go back into Inkscape and I'm just going to delete this. And let's start over. So let's go to file. We're going to import um the original Haley from font pad lab that we did right so here it is so again we're going to click outside of the name and then we're going to click on the paint bucket pick on a color and let's start by doing 10. i kind of want to show you what everything looks like so here's our h and you can see it's thinner right Let's go back to the arrow, click in the white space, and I'm going to click on my paint bucket and pick a different color. Um, let's do 20 so you can see. So pretty. I love this. All right. Arrow, white space, paint bucket. Pick a different color. And we're going to do 30 this time. I'll do 30 and 40 so you can see everything. All right, so here's our first one. Second one, it's starting to get like really bubbly, right? Um, okay, arrow, white space, paint bucket. And this is our last color. Let's do 40. Okay, here we go. Ooh, and that one was great because it did the whole name because it was all connected, right? Um, okay. Grab your arrow, grab all of it, path, object to path, file, save as. So I'm going to do Haley Demo 2 and save. Oop, there we go. All right, let's go into Cricut, the same one, okay? Um, let's go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse. So we got to find our Haley Demo. And we want the second one. All right, here we go, save. Let's bring that in. All right, so let's make this sort of the same size as it was a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll bring it down here and we're gonna ungroup it. And let's grab this one and hit contour. I wanna get rid of these small little holes. So go to contour, hide all. Oh, you know what? We do want these though. I just don't like that small one and this tiny one. It's not worth it. Okay, so here's the first one. Here's the second one. I'm going to grab these two, second color and weld. There's my second layer. Here's my third layer. I'm also going to weld this just to make it easier on myself. And then here's the last layer. So I'm going to grab this and weld. All right, so now let's put this over here. 
Let's grab all this and align so we can see what it looks like if we put it together perfectly. So here are our two. I'm gonna just make this a little bit smaller so we can compare. So this was an offset by 20 and then 40. If we only did, I think the 10 is so small, it's gonna to depend on the project. Sometimes you might want just a little bit of an outline. So let me, um, let's grab the, this layer and this layer, I think. You can barely see it. Let me make this a different color. Um, and I'll make the black a different color. Maybe we can see it better now. There. So you can see it's a tiny offset. So that's your regular Haley plus the 10 as an offset, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. And then if you add, this is the 30, or did, no, 20. Can't remember if I did. No, I did 40 at one point, didn't I? Let's go back to Inkscape. Oh, I can't see that. Okay. I don't remember the numbers that I did. I think I did 10, 20. 10, 20. I can't remember this is 40 or 30. I think it's 40. I think I did 10, 10, and then 20 and 40. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments or message me, email me. I can help you with your project. But these two apps are amazing. It changed how I do projects. You need this to, to do your letters. And I even use it for print because I find that in design space, um, for regular print, the spacing is still too much and it's not even. It would be one thing if it was even and I can just do, um, let me move myself, um, and decrease the fonts, uh, the font space, but it's not. So when you, I decrease it, sometimes the A and the L are too far apart, not the same distance as the H and the A. So as things start to get in, they're not evenly spaced. So I do like using font lab pad for both script and print fonts. All right. All right. Goodbye guys.